Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a full tour of our kitchen. I'm gonna open up all the cabinets, show you inside all the things. I'm gonna show you how I organize everything and I'm also going to tell you where I got certain things including our dining room table. I know you guys have been waiting for a little while now for me to give you all the details. So today is the day I'm gonna tell you where I got my dining room table from and show it to you in detail. And uh, it's gonna be so much fun because we love this table. All right, without further ado, let us get started on our kitchen tour. And I think the first thing we should start with is the dining room table. Here is our dining table. We got this table from a company called Article. An article sells all kinds of mid-century modern pieces. They have indoor, outdoor furniture, and we just love it. It's super, super high quality. This table is the Madeira dining table in the color smoke. And then these are the rust dining chairs in white. Oh, it is just the prettiest table. And like I said, it's super high quality. When you touch it, you can see that it's real wood. The grain is just so pretty, um, but it's also like finished, so you're not gonna get like spills or stains or anything like that. There is this seam in the middle of the table, which I think just adds character to it. Here are the legs on the table. That's what they look like. And then here in the middle, I'll pull out these chairs and show you. There's this black metal bar, which just makes it a little bit more modern and adds even more character to it. So this is our table. So in love with it. It's perfect for our family. And then let's talk about the chairs really quick. So these are, like I said, the rest dining chairs. They are wood backed with like this fabric material. It's kind of like a gray, like a heathered gray almost. So cute. They're simple. This table would fit in so many different style houses, I think. It doesn't just have to be mid-century modern. That's our dining table from the company Article. I will have all of that linked in the description box for you guys. So while we're here, this is our dining room, which is right off of the kitchen. And this is where we have a lot of our meals, not all of them, sometimes we'll eat on the couch, but we like to have dinners here, especially Emerson will sit in this chair and then we put a kitchen towel on this chair so that she doesn't spill on it. And then we actually replaced this light right here. There was a different chandelier because we're renting. Um, they had a different chandelier here and we just took it down and replaced it with this one that we got from Lowe's. I'll have this one linked in the description box as well. And then we just kept the um, other chandelier, we put it away in the basement and we'll just swap them out again when we're done with this house and we move. And then this is one of my favorite things about the dining room is this little window seat. Uh, I haven't really officially decorated. These are just some pillows that we had upstairs, but I do want to decorate this and make it really cute and cozy. It's this big, beautiful window that actually overlooks the pond that we have back here and it's just, it opens up this room and lets in so much natural light and we love it. And then over here is Oakley's high chair. This is a high chair from Ikea, but you can also get them on Amazon. This was actually Emerson's high chair. You can see it's pretty well loved, um, but we, we like this high chair. It's really easy to clean and um, I definitely recommend it. And then this is just a vase that we got from Target, I believe. And these are some flowers. They're actually real, and I've had them for a really, really long time. They're kind of just dried out, but I kind of like them. I like that they're real, um, but they don't look like they're dead or anything, so I just keep those there. Alrighty, let's move on to the rest of the kitchen, and we'll start over here with the bar stools. So this is like this little bar counter area. We actually never sit here to eat. Sometimes we'll sit here to like do a little computer work, but for the most part, we just put our junk here. <laughs> but these are bar stools from Ikea. Um, these are the taller version. There's like two sizes. These are the tall ones. And we really like these, they're super cute. And then over here is where I keep my diffuser. Um, this is a little plant that I just got from TJ Maxx, I believe. And this is my Aria diffuser from Young Living. This is like my pride and joy, my precious. It is so pretty. It feels like I spa in here every single day. Um, this diffuser has a little remote with it, so you can like adjust the sound. It plays music. 
like spa sounds. And then it also, you can change the lights on it. This one's fancy. And then this little cake stand is just from Target. I got it a little while ago, so I don't know if they have it, but I've seen like simple cake stands at TJ Maxx and also Michael's. In the diffuser today, I just have Stress Away and Peppermint. It's like a classic combo. Here is the sink area where we pile all our dishes in. Sometimes we wash them, you know how that goes. Over here, I keep my fruit and veggie wash my Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash by Young Living. Here is a little, this is a, like a mini cake stand. I also got this from Target a couple years ago from the dollar spot, so I don't know if they have them anymore. Um, but on top of that, I just keep a little bottle of Thieves Hand Purifier. This is a little sink brush caddy that I think I got from Target years and years ago. Um, and then we like to use the little dish ones. I think this is just a basic one. Scotch Bright from Target. And then we like to use the blue scrubbies because sometimes the green ones um, can scratch. So I don't know why I'm sharing that, but there you go. And then here we have uh, just a bottle of dish soap and then our foaming hand soap. I love this one. This little soap dish is from TJ Maxx, but you can also get them from Grove Collaborative, which is where this brush is from. And I will have a link to Grove if you guys want to do that. You can get a bunch of free stuff from them sometimes um, if you're a new member. So I will have that link down below. But love this little dish. And then I like having this brush. We don't actually use this brush, but it is kind of a cute little decoration. Then we just have a roll of paper towels. I've always had a roll of paper towels by the sink. Um, I don't remember where I got this paper towel holder from. Probably from... Let's be honest, Bed Bath & Beyond or Target, I mean, you can get them anywhere. Here on the counter, I just have another little plant from TJ Maxx. This bowl, I believe, came from TJ Maxx, but we got it as a gift for our wedding. But we like to keep this here in the corner just for our fruits and veggies that don't go in the fridge. So we have bananas, these are tomatoes from our garden, and then just some sweet potatoes. And then, of course, this is like, a must have in our kitchen. This is our Keurig. We used to use a different coffee pot that like made a pot of coffee, but we have gone back recently to the Keurig and we are just really happy with that. And this is my golden pothos little house plant. These are super hardy. You cannot kill them. They kind of vine. Um, and I just like having like one real plant in here and I water it and I take care of it and I just love it. It makes me happy. Next to my coffee maker, I have my essential oils that I use every day. Um, I use a bunch of other ones too, but these are ones that I like try and remember to use every day. Endoflex is like endocrine support, um, so super good for all of that stuff. I roll this over my thyroid every morning. This one is Progescence Plus, so I think wild yams, super wonderful for just female hormone support. Um, and I keep these here by the coffee pot because I will never forget to make a pot of coffee or a cup of coffee, um, but it's sometimes hard for me to remember to put on my essential oils. Consistency with essential oils is absolutely key. So in order for me to just remember to put on my essential oils, I keep it by the coffee pot, and then while my cup of coffee is brewing, I put on my essential oils, and then I have no excuse for forgetting them. Here on the counter, these are little canisters that I got from Target. They still have them. They have different different ones, different sizes, but these are the three that I really liked, flour, sugar, and tea. Back here is this little cutting board that I got from TJ Maxx. I don't think I keep anything in this one, but I do have a bunch of teas in this one. Chai tea is my favorite, and I drink that quite often, so I keep that in that container. And then in this one are our K-cups. And then this little guy is from michael's and then these are just little wooden spoons that i got from tj maxx and then over on this side back there is a charger for my camera <laughs> my camera batteries and then this is our knife set it's Wustoff brand these are like super good quality knives my aunt actually gave them to us for our wedding it was super generous of her and we have loved Loved, loved these knives. And then I like to have little dishcloths. These are not necessarily dishcloths that we use, um, but I like to have different ones for the seasons, just hanging right there on the stove and then also on the dishwasher. So that's the dishwasher and that is the stove. And right now for summer, I just have plain white ones. These I think are the Project 62 ones from Target. 
And then on the floor are just some rugs. We've had these rugs for forever. They're not necessarily my favorite color, um, but we've had them for a really long time. And I think we got these from Target. Over here, of course, more essential oils. Um, this little rack, I have been getting questions on it. I actually won this from Young Living. Um, Young Living gives away a bunch of free stuff. So I got this one for free. You can't actually buy it. But Amazon has a lot, and Etsy too, has a lot of really cute um, essential oil racks. These ones are all Vitality oils, which means that you can ingest them. So I just keep these ones here in case we want to cook with them or whatever. Um, but also, I just think it's really cute having more essential oils because I love them um, just displayed. And then lastly, um, before I get into all of the cabinets, this is our trash can. Nothing special about it. I don't even know where we got it. Maybe Target. We've had it since we've been married. Um, so, and this is actually a little residue from a lock that we had on this from when Emerson was a baby. Um, and I just never took it off. But we're probably soon going to have to put another lock on there because Oakley's starting to pull himself up on things. So that was everything on the countertops. Now we're going to go through all the cabinets. So this is the first cabinet right here. The first upper cabinet. And inside this cabinet, I have a bunch of our plates and Emerson's plastic plates. Up there, we have a French press, coffee grinder, and then some extra glass bowls that we use every day. The same ones that these are, they're just up there. Um, these little racks are super handy. You can get them at Target or Walmart. Um, these are plates that we got for our wedding, but they're the Threshold brand. So from Target, and there's bowls, and then these little plates to go with it. And then these are our plastic bowls that we use ourselves, but also for the kiddos. And these are from Target as well. They're super inexpensive. And then these little plates. There's two different styles that you can get. One without the dividers, and then these ones have the dividers. Um, so these are from Target as well. And then so are these little tiny kitty bowls and then more plates. These plates go with these bowls. Um, and then that's just another different kind of plate that we don't, we don't actually use that one for Emerson. Next is this cabinet and this cabinet has all of our cups and mugs in it. Up here are those same plastic cups that match the bowls and plates from Target. Here are just a bunch of our tumblers. This is one that I use for my water every day. It's from Walmart and I really like these. They're like 10 bucks. This is a Tervis. Andrew's really into his Tervises. And then these are from Smoothie Box. They have great cups and just like water bottles and things. And then back there is just like a shaker bottle for protein. Um, here is just a little container that we have our lids in. Some little wine glasses. These are our like glassware that we got for our wedding but we only have i think four left there used to be a bunch of them but we've broken them um so we're kind of ready for these to go but we have a few left up there are our baking dishes it's kind of random but like the best place that they fit so we have like a nine by nine and a 13 by nine and then the lids that go with them they're pyrex here we have another one of those little racks that are so handy these are the white mugs that go with our um, plates and bowls from the Threshold brand from Target. And then we just have some random mugs. Um, I don't like to keep a bunch of them, but we do have, you know, like our favorites in here. I'm not a mug collector and I don't like the look of like a bunch of mismatched mugs. <laughs> but some of them are just special to us. Like this one says California, which is where I'm from. Back there, there's one from Orlando, which is where Andrew and I went for our honeymoon. Um, and then these are Young Living ones, just some random mugs. Andrew really likes to have these ones from Walmart. They're metal and they keep your drinks hot or cold for a really, really long time. Another different version of that. And then lately, we have been loving drinking out of mason jars. They're super inexpensive, super sturdy. Um, so instead of drinking out of these that break so easily, we've just been drinking out of mason jars and really enjoying it. So I've showed you the first two cabinets. Then up here is just where we keep all of our medicines, vitamins, supplements, um, band-aids, first aid, and then also we have like the kids 
thermometer and things like that. So this is like our medicine cabinet up nice and high away from the kids so they can't get into anything. But I'll be honest, it's a little high for me. <laughs> so I have to use a step stool up here on the fridge is where we keep our little step stool. And that is the only way that I can actually get up there and see what I need. Next over here is where we keep all of Emerson's sippy cups. It's not really organized very well, but the bottom is where we keep all of her like the bottoms to the cups. We really like these ones. They're from Contigo. We got like a three pack, a couple three packs actually from um, Costco. And then these ones are the Munchkin 360 ones, which are also really good. And then up here in this little basket that I got from the Dollar Tree, these are the lids. So this is like to the Munchkin 360. This is one of the types of Contigo lids that we have. This one with a straw is a second kind. And then we have some sippy cups that like Oakley is practicing with. So all kinds of the lids go in this little basket here. Not very organized, but it does what we need it to. And then up here, there's like a random funnel back there. These are the best little snack containers. Honestly, Oakley just opens them right now and dumps all the food out and then eats it off the floor. But when he's a little bit older, he'll know how to use this. It's supposed to be spill-ish proof, but these are by Munchkin. Um, and so we have a couple of those up here in this cabinet. Up here above the refrigerator is just some random stuff. Um, a food processor that we don't use very often. Um, cooling racks that we don't use very often. The cutest little cake stand from, this is I believe Pioneer Woman's cake stand. Uh, that's a little can organizer. Sometimes we keep that in the fridge, but right now it's not. An empty Ningxia red bottle. And then this right here is Emerson's Play-Doh. We have to hide it, otherwise she will get into it or ask to play with it like all the time. So we keep her Play-Doh up there so that she can't get into it. And if she wants to play with it, she has to ask us. And then this is the last upper cabinet. And up here we have some more random stuff. There's like more Pioneer Woman bowls that are really cute. Um, this is a pitcher. And then there's some like candy that we were hiding from Emerson up there. We don't really eat any of that, she doesn't either, but you never know when you'll need some candy. So we've got that back there. And then there's some like Pioneer recipe cards that are really cute. Um, and then this is our money jar. This is just a milk, like a glass milk container, um, but it's perfect for keeping our change in. And then here, it actually is more organized than it looks, um, but this is all of our glass Tupperware. Here's the bottoms to it, but back there, this little lid organizer, Tupperware lid organizer is so handy and it is from Inner Design, the brand Inner Design. I love the clear acrylic stuff, so cute. So these are the bottoms. We got these glass food storage containers from Costco and they come with different lids. And then I think we're even gonna get another one from Sam's Club pretty soon because we go through them pretty fast. Here are some more of them. Here's like the bigger ones. Back here, this little container is from Ikea. These are really cute. And there's nothing in it right now, um, but there used to be some stuff in there. I have done a video recently where I organized this area and I go into all the details of like how I came up with putting things where I did. Um, so if you guys wanna watch that video, you can. But really quickly, I'll just go through it. Here's our paper goods plastic silverware paper plates these little baskets are from target and i love them they're so cute back there is a container full of our ziploc bags in different sizes that basket is from the dollar store then we have our foil and plastic wrap right here and this container it's empty right now but this is usually um, the container that we have all of our dish towels and dish cloths in. They're all in the dryer right now, but that's where those go. These are skewers. Um, these are some gallon freezer bags. Back behind this basket is some milk storage um, for breast milk and also some pump pieces, I think. Down here are supplements. I'm actually about to take that basket out because we're not using it and I need to give some of that stuff away. Um, but this is our Ningxia Red, which is our 
Wolfberry um, antioxidant drink supplement. Love this stuff. And I drink one of these little packets every single day. And these ones are nice for like on the go as well because you can just throw it in your purse. Um, we have some more Young Living supplements, nitro, a random <laughs> egg container. Um, this is also inner design, really cute. Down here is all of our coffee supplies. Here's an extra bag of coffee, some more coffee, um, and just coffee supplies, an extra water filter for our filter in the fridge. And then down here, I don't use these very often because I'm not really pumping, um, but here is like the little tree and the grass drying mat from Boone. You can get these on Amazon. I have I have a bunch of this stuff linked in my Amazon storefront. When you are washing bottle parts though and pump parts, these things are amazing. And then in here is just a whole bunch of bottles and pump parts. So that was this side of the fridge. Now we're gonna come over here. Briefly, I'm gonna show you this drawer. This is our junk drawer. It is a true junk drawer. We just throw stuff in here. It needs to be organized, but hashtag real life. And then this one is pretty empty. It's just our cutting boards and rolling pins. We are the type of people that keep stuff in this drawer under the oven. I know that's not really what it's for, but we keep our baking pans um, and then our muffin tin pans and all that kind of stuff in that drawer. Over here is a drawer full of kitchen, whatever you need, all kinds of cheese graters and whisks and ice cream scoops, wine keys, this is a pastry cutter, some scissors, some wooden skewers, can openers, bottle openers, electric mixer pieces, and then down here, is where we keep all of our pots and pans that we use every day. We have more of these, but these are the ones that we use every day because we were a little bit limited on space. So these are the ones that we use every day. These pans are some of our favorites and these are from Made In. And we have some skillets, some cast iron skillets, a little griddle, these pots. I believe these pots are Calphalon. We got these for our wedding. We have all kinds of lids that go with them. And then this little stand is from, I don't know, Target. Over here, we have a little corner cabinet. It is not a turntable, um, but it actually is fine. Here are our mixing bowls. We've had these for a long time. The brand is Ogie. I don't even know where we got these, but we've had them for a long time. We have some glass measuring cups. This little Red Bull is from the Pioneer Women's line. Another glass measuring cup. This is a little butt pan. This is a bread pan from William Sonoma. And then the lids that go with these mixing bowls. And then back here is our pan mixer. I actually have a KitchenAid mixer, like a stand mixer, but I don't, I don't love it as much as I like the good old hand mixer. Um, this one is also KitchenAid, and I love this pretty blue color. Down here, we have just some colanders. This one is Pioneer Woman, and then just some random plastic ones. Cake pans, more cake pans, pie tins, and then this is a Springform uh, cheesecake pan. Over here is under the kitchen sink, and we always keep this locked for the baby's safety. And under here, I have also done a video where I organized this, so go back and watch that. Ever since I've organized it, it's stayed pretty clean like this. Um, so just really quickly, I'll show you guys what's in here. Some cleaning gloves, and then a little caddy from Grove Collaborative. This is a just a jar that has some dishwasher pods in it, but honestly, we don't really use the dishwasher pods anymore. We just have a couple left, um, because now we use Young Living's dishwashing powder. And then this basket has microfiber cloths for cleaning. This basket is from Dollar Tree and it has just a whole bunch of magic erasers in it and some extra sponges. This is from Target. This is, this little stand is inner design and you can get it from Target. And then back behind I have a jar full of plastic grocery bags for whatever we might need. An extra thing of paper towels. This basket has a whole bunch of extra cleaning supplies. My Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate, a bottle of Thieves Cleaner Spray, 
sal suds, Dr. Bronner sal suds. Um, you can use that for all kinds of things for cleaning. The dishwasher powder, obviously. This is foam, foaming hand soap refill. And then just some other things back there. This little basket is full of extra brushes and sponges. Um, these are grocery bags from Young Living. Um, and then our trash bags. And then of course you have to have a fire extinguisher just in case of emergency. So that's under the kitchen sink. And then the last thing to show you guys is the kitchen island. And this doubles as storage, which is super nice. So there's drawers on this side. In this drawer, it's not super organized, but we have all kinds of utensils for cooking, tongs, spatulas, two measuring cups. This is a vegetti for making spiral noodles out of like veggies. Here's all of our measuring spoons. These little drawer containers are from Target, I believe. We have a candy thermometer, and then these are little popsicle things for Emerson. Um, this is a garlic press. There's some random stuff in here, but this is all kitchen. This drawer is all of our silverware, and we got our silverware from Bed Bath & Beyond, and we got two sets of it. We got this for our wedding, and I love them. I love how they look. I love how they feel. Um, so I recommend those for sure. And then I believe this little container is from Target, maybe? And then here are Emerson's spoons and Oakley's as well, and forks and all that. So for Oakley, we use the little munchkin spoons. And then Emerson, we have gotten these ones from Target. I believe they're the Cloud Nine, maybe? But they're so cute and I love them. I love all the colors they come in. And it comes with spoons, forks, and knives. And then we still have a few extra of the ones from Ikea. These are Ikea. And then down here, this is not as organized as it could be. So maybe I'll go through that. Oh yeah, maybe I'll go through that soon. Um, but this is just where we keep a bunch of extra appliances, another coffee grinder, toaster, a bucket of more utensils. Uh, this is a juicer that we don't use as much as I want to. Then let's go to the other side and I'll show you what's on the other side. On this side, we have our Instant Pot, which we use all the time. I love, love, love the Instant Pot and totally recommend it. I've got three videos, I think, full of recipes, so if you guys haven't seen those, go check them out. Our Ninja Blender, this is another thing that I love. We make smoothies in it, it's just a great blender. And then these are just some extra like stock pots that we don't use all the time, but if we're boiling spaghetti or whatever, um, this is just the best place for it. So. All right guys, so that is our whole kitchen. That's inside all our cabinets, all our things. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, then do so, we would love to have you. Also make sure you guys turn on your bell notifications, that way you get notified every time we post a video and you don't miss any of them. Follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. And then make sure you guys check out the link in the description box for the table from Article. Seriously, the best table ever. We love it so much. And it is so nice to have a dining table that we can all sit down and eat dinner together as a family. Cause that is like so, so important to me. I remember doing that growing up and it was such a valuable, important time. And I definitely, want to continue that with my kids and I want them to grow up remembering those times. Um, and it all, I mean, it all has to do with a kitchen table. It's very, very special and important to us and we love this table. All right guys, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.